Former half-term Alaska Governor Sarah Palin is not an official Republican Party spokesperson. That said, who is? Are Republicans really hanging on, say, Michael Steele's word more than they're hanging on Sarah Palin's word when it comes to party leadership and politics? This weekend, uh, Republican giant celebrity Sarah Palin uh, traveled to Arizona to do some of her patented freelance Republican politicking. And she delivered a huge election year gift in Arizona to Democrats. Sarah Palin lent her formidable attention-getting skills to Arizona Governor Jan Brewer at an event that was part campaign rally, part press conference, and all theatrics. Brewer and Palin unveiled Governor Brewer's exciting new campaign website, securetheborder.org, where you can sign a petition in support of Arizona's draconian anti-immigration law, to whom the petition will be delivered as anyone's guess. Uh, then there was this moment. It's time for Americans across this great country to stand up and say, we're all Arizonans now. Sarah Palin's ecstatic endorsement of Arizona's Papers, Please law and the governor who signed it is a very exciting moment for Democrats. Aligning itself with anti-immigrant politics is the pothole that Republicans keep breaking their axle on over and over and over again. In the 2006 midterm election, you may recall, congressional Republicans had to somehow counter the ballooning unpopularity of President Bush and the war in Iraq. To much fanfare, Republicans turned to immigration, more specifically anti-immigration politics. Democrats in 06 ran against the Iraq war. Republicans in 06, many of them at least, ran against immigrants. The result of the election? Democrats took back control of the House and the Senate for the first time in a dozen years. Then, of course, Republican fortunes reversed in 2008 with the historic election of anti-immigrant crusader President Tom Tancredo. President Tancredo's venerable success as a single-issue politician cat uh, Oh, I'm sorry, that's not right. Terribly sorry for the confusion there. Actually, former Congressman Tom Tancredo, who has called immigrants a scourge, um, he actually did not become president. I forgot I woke up from that dream. In fact, Tom Tancredo withdrew from the race before the first caucus or primary even took place on the Republican side. He ended his one-issue campaign, and he threw his support behind Mitt Romney, saying that he didn't want to split the formidable anti-immigrant vote. He thought Mitt Romney had sufficiently anti-immigrant policy positions to win the presidency, and Tom Tancredo wanted to get out of the way. Mitt Romney, of course, went on to also not win the Republican nomination. David Leonhardt at the New York Times has done some good reporting on the historical failure of anti-immigrant politics on the national level. Republicans have been breaking their axle on this political pothole for a very long time. In the 1850s, quote, anti-immigrant forces seemed as if they might dominate the new Republican Party. But in the end, the calmer voices of Abraham Lincoln and William Seward won the day. Sixty years later, a second wave of anti-immigrant politics roared to life, only to peter out with the election of Franklin Roosevelt. Roosevelt's running on an anti-immigrant platform in 2006 did not prevent the Republicans from losing control of the House and the Senate. It did not get Tom Tancredo nor Mitt Romney the Republican nomination in 2008. But gosh darn it, just because it keeps failing over and over and over again for 150 years doesn't mean some people won't keep insisting that it's a clear path to the win column. If 70% of the country supports the Arizona law, according to the latest polls, 70 percent. If the Obama administration sues Arizona, that's it for them. They're done. They're going to have to learn that the American people want action. Do you think critical this, mass has been reached? I do, Arizona? and I believe right. November is a pivotal election in this country. Right. You do, Lou? Really? What else do you think is pivotal? Really? You think the whole country is just going to go with the anti-immigrant thing, just like they have been?